How do I work with the cast? Well, they do improvise to an extent, but at the start of the take, or even in preparation, there's a lot of stuff that can change. There are ideas that come and go. And you know, there's sometimes big changes that can come through the sort of piece of inspiration. How shall I put it? You, you see the result of a day of reflection, and then you keep working on the film like that. Well, is it true to the screenplay at the end of the day? That's another question. But we did amass a lot of experience when shooting, and we tried to get a sense of direction for what was to come next, for the next takes. The cast improvised. They spoke their language, if we can call it that. And there's only one thing that's a given, which is the objective of the scene, the way it's been designed. Apart from that, there are no real constraints. So we sort of develop it on an iterative basis as we rehearse. And scenes that we've rehearsed several times can end up merging into just one scene. When I'm on set with Ulrich, I know what he wants. I've worked for a long time to prepare my character and you know, the sex scenes are not just what you see, but you know, the, the whole portrayal is a very physical one. Back with Hundstage, Dog's Days, it was quite incredible. I was shooting one scene and then when Ulrich said, start shooting, there was just this character. That was the only person there. And then Ulrich says, thank you. But I mean, during the take, anything can happen. Now, with Michael Thomas, it was a very trusting relationship that I had on screen well, as actors. Now, just like in skiing, you tend to say that you give your all. Oh, if you only knew. Films are always very specific things. They have their visual semantic language. You have day, you have night, you have weather, you have the sense of different smells, you have the sense of warmth or of cold. That translates into you know, a physical sense of the film. You feel a film with all of your senses. It's not just something that you see. So that's crucial for me. And what I was able to find in Rimini was exactly the right atmosphere. It was the atmosphere I was looking for. It would have been a totally different film if I'd shot it in summer. You know, in summer, Rimini has you know hordes of tourists descending on it. Now, going back to your first question, I don't recall. Oh, sex and money. Well, yeah, that's always been the case, generally speaking. I love this film because it was a confusing experience for me to watch. Um, there was so much um, ugliness and uh, vulgarity and trashiness, and then this unexpected kind of marriage with beauty and empathy. Um, and I was wondering whether what I've just said speaks to your experience of making this film and whether you could help me make sense of this aesthetic and effective experience, <laughs> which was confusing. So it's back to the question of what ugliness and beauty are. Now, what is held up as beautiful, for example, by the media is you know being a good-looking person, but you know my films have constantly challenged that by also showing different 
body types, people who look like us and not the sort of model-like people who the media would like to impose on us. Now, ugliness and beauty, yeah, as I said just now, I find that beaches in Rimini in winter are beautiful. They're not ugly. Some might not be able to imagine that packed beach in summer in Rimini as being beautiful. Yes, it was his last film, Hans-Michael Rieberg's last film. Now, when we were shooting, we already knew that he was gravely ill. So it was a very moving thing to work with him. And he prepared for a long time and meticulously. And he did what I wanted. And he spent a lot of time in an old people's home to prepare for that role. And he did the daily activities with the other elderly people and ate there. So at the end of the day, you couldn't tell him apart from one of the residents of the old people's home. And although he was very weak already when we were shooting, he was very, very disciplined about his job. He was a true actor. And he was a top-class actor on stage and a very passionate performer. 